It's important not to paint these protests with a broad brush. There is a clear delineation between protesters and rioters, the ones that are causing all of this chaos down here in lower Manhattan. As you can see, this was by far the worst night, and police still have a much of the area cordoned off. They've created a perimeter around the most high-end shops in Soho, which have been destroyed or damaged by looters overnight. And uh, we have seen that the shattered glass across the street, high-end merchandise uh, being just scattered on the streets of Soho. Uh, I saw foot pursuits personally, arrests, and just mayhem unfolding overnight. As darkness fell, despite NYPD officers saturating the neighborhood, our cameras were rolling, but still storefronts across the neighborhood were just smashed brazenly and looted by dozens of young people who seem to have this scheme down to a science. Many of the thieves getting away on scooters, bikes, getaway cars, some from out of state. In fact, around 3 o'clock this morning, a vehicle clipped a police officer, hitting him with a car before speeding off around 5th Avenue and East 8th Street. That vehicle had plates from outside New York. Earlier in the night, dumpsters and trash set ablaze at 12.30 this morning. Then, a 20-year-old was shot in the torso at Spring and Crosby Street amid this chaos. High-end stores like Chanel, Gucci, Bloomingdale's, Lululemon, and others like CVS, AT&T, they're just all been cleaned out. Protesters who were peacefully demonstrating last night told us these agitators who are causing these riots and lawlessness are certainly ruining it for the movement and the rest of everyone else. But right now, the streets are still crawling with NYPD officers. Arrests are still being made, and they are trying to get the rest of the lingering people out from this area uh, so they can start to st uh, assess this damage, uh, clean up the streets. Uh, store owners had, in fact, boarded up many of them during the coronavirus pandemic. So it's curious to see that uh, some of this plywood has been ripped down and even there was still merchandise inside of these stores. An exact arrest number is not available just yet. However, we know it stretched from lower Manhattan all the way up uh, to Midtown. There's also a troubling piece of video that's making its way uh, across social media. The attorney general as well as NYPD investigating an officer who apparently pointed his gun at a group of protesters or people gathered in the streets. That again is under internal review. Reporting live in Soho, I'm Anthony DiLorenzo, Pix 11 News.